yet again. They've just won another free, and this will allow the clock to roll down. And Paul Ehrlich, I suppose as good a time as any for you to tell us who's your selection for the Aircom Man of the Match in this All-Ireland quarter-final. Well, obviously all the contenders are Mayo players. Tremendous display, Aidan O'Shea in midfield. The whole defence have got to hold their hands up and say they, play, they all played magnificently. Uh, Alan Dillon showed great captaincy and leadership when it was needed. But Man of the Match, I think, Andy Moran has been spectacular today. Uh, when he moved in particularly to the full forward position, he has won every ball that has gone inside. And given the players out the field, a focal point for kicking a lot of the ball inside. He scored, he's laid off ball, but more importantly, as I said, he's been the target inside and he's not a big man, but he's given Michael Shields one of the hardest game days he's ever had. So Andy Perfect. Moran, who was a, a real moving target in that full forward line, is the Aircom man of the match from this all-Ireland quarter-final. Remember, the prize and offer for the winners. A place in the last four against Kerry. And that flick away from Donald Vaughan would just almost convince you that Mayo will not be de denied today. Andy Moore just lost the flight of that ball. It clips his shoulder. As Aidan Campbell, just after coming into the match, uh, sparring quite literally there for a moment with Paddy Kassan. But... Uh, Ball's well, that ends well. Dennis O'Sullivan now. Outside to Paddy Kelly, who has been kept on a very tight leash by Trevor Mortimer. Using all his skill to get away from the tackles. Flick through to Walsh, he'll go for the goal, it's flicked by a boot. Out for a 45. Well, he was going for the goal, and it took the boot of Donald Vaughan to divert it out for a 45. Robert Henley, you'd have to think, a very relieved man. Yes, and a couple of court players uh, appealing to the referee that it was a foot block, but not a chance. It was at least three or four metres away before Dolbahan put the foot out. And uh, again, even if Cork got that goal, I think they're going to struggle because uh, they have a mountain to climb at this stage. Donegal O'Connor, who has scored a goal and two points in this match. He needs to get this, and he has it. There's a Mayo player down just on the uh, penalty spot. It's Richie Feeney as the play continues. Donald Vaughan. This is Aidan Campbell. Plays his club football with Swinford. Flicks it through to Keith Higgins. Mayo now on the cusp of the shock of the championship season. Higgins still going. Fires it in over the top. He's looking for Doherty, but... Not even the pace of Jason Doherty will get him to that ball. Maybe, just maybe, as good as a score. Absolutely, and you have to give enormous credit to Mayo. This is just a magnificent performance that they've put in. Written off by everybody, I think, 5-1 to one, uh, in the bookies. The bookies rarely get it wrong, but uh, they just played with purpose, with great skill. I love their directness of their uh, game as well. When they win the ball in the midfield, they kicked it long. They backed the forwards to, to win the ball out in front, and uh, they scored some tremendous scores today. And, of course, as I said earlier, in the Connacht Championship, they had two very difficult uh, days conditions-wise in the semi-final and final weren't able to express themselves and play very well but again it looks like uh, a provincial champion is going to defeat one of the qualifiers of course last year we had the four provincial champions defeated uh, this year so far we have two of the provincial champions who look who look like winning and things have just got a whole lot worse for Cork John Miskela sent off by Rory Hickey they're down to 14 men the match is an injury time as Mayo try to bring in Lee Keegan to run their bench. It's Richie Feeney who's been taken out. And when you consider, Mayo dodged a real bullet against London in the opening round of the Connacht Championship back in May. They were pushed to extra time in that match by the Exiles. Very lucky to get out of there with their championship ambitions intact. And now here they are, less than three minutes away from a place in the All-Ireland semi-final against all the odds and Cork down to 14 men it has been an incredible afternoon at Croke Park and it's not over yet Paddy Kelly Cork need a goal to have any chance of getting back into this match it's a dangerous one O'Connor jumps it hits Kerrigan Paul Kerrigan gets his shot away under pressure from Keith Higgins and Cork will have to be content with a 45 Mayo refused to be denied. 
Yeah, that, that, that uh, Paul Kerrigan was sitting in the square there when there a small part of when the ball was knocked in from uh, from Donald O'Connor. So uh, if he had got a goal, it uh, shouldn't have been allowed. But uh, again, at this stage, Cork need goals, and Mayo have stacked the defence. Well, the Mayo manager James Horan looking as calm and composed as he's ever been. His heart surely must be racing. Donald O'Connor trying to drop it in. And it's another 45. Well, this adding to the drama and the tension. But Mayo have that four-point lead, and the All-Ireland champions are on the ropes and a minute away from the knockout blow. Absolutely, this, uh, again, an extraordinary performance from Mayo, but a very, very disappointing performance, you have to say, from Cork. And uh, as I said, whether it's tiredness or lack of uh, key players, missing key players, um, after last week's tremendous performance against Down, it was hard to see a poor quality performance like this but again you have to give credit to Mayo for uh, the magnificence of their display and they didn't allow Cork to play football like they did last weekend and I think James Horn was at the match I met him afterwards last week and uh, I think he obviously saw some opportunities to exploit the Cork defence today tensions running high Cork have just won a third 45 there's a Mayo player down looks like uh, Aidan O'Shea Pierce O'Neill has been shown a yellow card remember John Miskela has already been sent off well, Cork know they are just moments away from losing their All-Ireland title. They have been completely and utterly frustrated, particularly in this second half by Mayo. They've been outscored seven points to one since half-time. They go short with the 45. This is Michael Shields. He's going to drop it in and hope for the best. Wide. It's all over. Who said romance was dead? Mayo, the team that were written off and dismissed as also rans, have just knocked out the All-Ireland champions. It was billed as David against Goliath. And Goliath are gone. The Connacht champions have beaten Cork for the first time since 1916 and blown the championship wide open. Cork cannot believe it. They have been stunned. The 5-1 on favourites to progress to an All-Ireland semi-final are out of the championship. Mayo and the team that James Horan has been building and is building will meet their old friends in the All-Ireland semi-final in three weeks' time. Conor Cunahan and his team are out of the championship race in front of a crowd of just over 22,000. It finished Mayo 113, Cork 26. A beaming David Brady here. Is this even bigger than beating Dublin in the semi final in 2006, given that you've beaten the champions? It's always nice to beat the champions, man. But, uh, you know, when you're when you're put down and you're told you won't do it, you can't do it, and you'll never do it, that's when we all are at their, 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 their best. We've seen it before with the better order and champions, Tyrone. They did it today. You know, I said, Every man, woman, and monkey didn't give them a chance. There's 25 guys out there and management that give them every chance, and they showed it today. And Peter, of course, you spoke of not since the 1916 did Mayo last beat Cork in the championship. Another uprising here, surely, and thoroughly deserved. But they got the grips around the middle. Um, after a dreadful first 10 or 15 minutes where they couldn't win a ball uh, in around the middle, they really got the grips in, in there. And seven points to one, they scored the all Ireland champions in the, in the second half, so Cork can have no excuses. We will have full analysis of what has been a stunning victory for Mayo over the champions, Cork, when we come back after this.